Well, Jessica and Steve, no one who lived on Ketron Island or here in Stilla come back in 2018 will ever forget what happened five years ago tonight. But this was an incident that baffled aviation experts and sent a shockwave through the whole industry. When we got here, you could still see smoke coming up in the air. You could smell it big time. Don Dahlgren still can't believe it happened. Right there at the end of that, end of that island. His Stillicum home is about a mile from the crash site. We're within striking distance. I mean, my, it could have been our, could have been this whole neighborhood here. FBI investigators concluded neither SeaTac Airport nor Alaska Airlines did anything wrong regarding what happened August 10th, 2018. 29-year-old Horizon Air employee Richard Bebo Russell had the credentials and the experience to be on the tarmac. He towed out the Horizon Air Q400, and while the plane was rolling, he hopped in the aircraft. Seattle ground, uh, Horizon guy, um, about to take off. It's going to be crazy. Russell, who had never flown before, took off. Sorry, you need to call and scramble now. And flew around the Puget Sound region for more than an hour before crashing on Ketron Island. Investigators determined it was intentional and declared it a suicide. Well, this happened because it was an inside job. Former commercial pilot John Nance has been an aviation analyst for ABC News since the 1990s. He called the 2018 incident a wake-up call for airlines around the world. There has been a tremendous amount of effort that has gone to making sure that this cannot happen again in any way, form, or fashion. Spokespeople for the airport and the airline say for security reasons, they can't tell us everything that's changed. But since 2018, SeaTac has placed an emphasis on badge visibility and limiting access for employees so they can only go where they need to go. Security has been bolstered, says a spokesperson at employee entrances, and mental health is now part of Port of Employee training. A mental health crisis exists when someone is at risk of hurting themselves or others. As for Alaska Airlines, a spokesperson there says the company is enhancing awareness about insider threats and mental health concerns as well as limiting access to aircraft. What the heck was going on in that poor guy's mind? It was something no one thought could happen until it did. That did go through my mind. We could have all been out here on the, on the deck. No one faced any criminal charges in the incident. The FBI investigators determined that Richard, Rus Richard Russell didn't have anyone helping him in the event. Live in Stillicum, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.